Welcome everyone to the 183rd Knowledge Seekers Workshop of the Keshe Foundation Spaceship Institute. This is a special workshop, the Declaration of World Peace for Humanity. And it's Thursday, August 3rd, 2017. This is the day after the World Peace Day, where we had uh, the signing of the world leaders into the World Peace Treaty. And I think we have Mr. Kesh ready to uh, begin today's proceedings. Yes, good morning, good day to you as usual, wherever and whenever you listen to these knowledge seekers. Today is a special day in so many ways. For the first time, humanity has signed himself to peace. As of this morning, we become one nation, which means there are no borders, there are no armies, there are no wars, and we do not need to incite wars as we have no enemies. In so many ways, we have extended the borders of this space we call Earth to the boundaries of its atmosphere. In reality, now that we have done with no imaginary line that we put walls and barbed wires on it, now we make the atmosphere of this planet its boundaries. There are no armies to fight. And as we have taught from the beginning, the universal community never fights. So, this is again an imaginary border which extends into the universe. In so many days, we have worked to bring this matter to where it is now, to be successful in building one nation. By signing of the World Peace Treaties of all the nations on this planet, or sections of this planet, as of today, we become one nation one planet and one race. We have different colors, tastes, smells, and so many different ways of eating the same food, but we call it different names. Now it becomes the same. We love, we adore, and we enjoy each other in different ways. There is no reason for hatred. There is no reason for one to be than the other, as we are all better than all of us, and we are all together as one. In so many ways, this has been the dream of many, many of our forefathers, to be able to bring human race to sign at the same time for peace. We've seen it yesterday, from every corner of this planet, representatives of the languages signed themselves into peace. In so many ways, this is the beginning of a peaceful cycle for humanity. And what we have seen in the past, whenever peace has prevailed, the science, the technology, the comfort of mankind has taken off very rapidly. We know this will change a lot of things. You got to realize that we are working in the background in a massive way to change conditions. And we see science in exchange for peace is paying dividend, is bringing us acceptance, it brings in us understanding that we are and we have achieved a new era in human race. As I said before, many of us are fed up with killing, and many of us we are fed up being killed by so many different ways and tools, just for somebody to be the boss of somebody, to be called the king and the president or whatever. As I said, we have done with the leadership, and we were brought in the leadership of the souls. The members of the councils carry no voting right, and as of today, the new governing body has taken place. In the next few months, Gradually, you will see the changes. I have called for a first World Peace Conference in the next few weeks. Hopefully, after my return from Tehran, we will hold the first international One Nation Conference. We might see some of those who we call it the present leaders to be present. It takes organization to bring such thing in line, 
and we don't see any reason for it not to happen before the end of this year. The reason for it, I'll explain later on. This time, when the Keshe Foundation meets, meets as one nation. And this takes a lot of organization. We are looking to allow anything up to 10 to 20,000 people to this conference. Place and time will be announced in coming time. In the next few weeks we will announce it. We have taken this position because it's time then to celebrate together when all the points have been covered and the Foundation stands on its own ground. In the coming days we will announce hopefully the banking system and the start of operation of the blue telephones in the coming weeks. We will announce the establishment of one nation police force. We will announce the first dates for excursion into outer atmosphere through the Keshe Foundation Space Technology. We will announce in the coming days, very shortly, a new headquarters for Keshe Foundation, in addition to one in Africa, one in United States, and the Asia Central Station will be announced. This brings us to one center in each continent. This allows us to work in line with the last center to come into operation, that we have one center in each continent to complete our position in South America. In the coming months, we'll announce the position of the Keshe Foundation Center in South America very soon. Becoming one nation, we have to be able to give facilities to the heads of continents the members of the Earth Council position and a place that they can operate. Keshe Foundation, before Christmas, will announce position for each continent as its headquarters, as head of the nations, of the head of continent. We will announce in the coming weeks, as part of the One Nation, the establishment of space centers beyond the surface of Earth. The technology is advanced, and we will announce the establishment of the centers in number of places outside the surface of Earth. We are that advanced, we wait till the one nation is in position that we can deliver the technology in full. The technology of the space launch will go to China. All the space programs, spaceship programs of Keshe Foundation will be conducted out of Chinese territory. This is a pleasure and a gift to nations of China. All the spaceship launches with the permission of Chinese governments, with the support of Chinese scientists will be done on this territory. This is needed as China is a nation of peace, and such a technology needs to come through the hand of the nation which is peaceful, and has the authority and power to exert its power on keeping international peace in operation. If we would have given this technology to the United States, there would have been more warmongering and the rest of it. We see the Chinese government as a safe hand to deliver this technology to. Therefore, in the coming months, you will witness the launch of the first spaceships from territory of China. We have made the agreements, and we will deliver accordingly. The advancement of peace needs people who are in power for peace, not those who have to create war. The technology delivery has to be correct, that the nations trust the leaders. In Cash Foundation, we have a hundred percent trust in the Chinese government authority on managing to bring peace 
through the implication application of the space and a spaceship program. These are one of the prerequisites to peace. While the Keshe Foundation team have been busy organizing and delivering the process we saw yesterday, which was delivered flawlessly, thanks to all the people in the background, the members of the Earth Council, the members of the Universal Council, and the members of the core team, worked so hard in the background to be so flawless in the front. The nations have signed themselves to peace, and these are what we call the peace dividend. In the coming time, with a whole organization on the manufacturing side, which will be headed by Armin, will deliver the financial support for implication application of the peace through supporting the needy, the poor, and to educate that everyone receives the same education in the new science and technology. It is important for us to realize, as one nation, on the flag of the Keshe Foundation, it means we should be equal in every aspect. We should be able to deliver the totality in one go, according to what we need, what we have, and what we have to do to deliver. Peace will not come easy. Even we have signed ourselves through Peace Treaty to a new organization to accept the responsibility of the human race through governing, through the soul of the man. We can become to understand from now on is to go out and inform people what has happened. At this moment, as we understand, the whole 196 nations and the rest of the territories have been signed and double signed signature. Once we receive that confirmation through the Universal Council, the announcement of the completion of the World Peace Treaty is completed and we call ourselves as one nation. What does this mean? As I promised you before, once we reach this point, we open the channels to universal community. In developing the spaceship program, the way it has to be done, and it will be done in the coming weeks and months, it will be the responsibility of the Chinese government to announce, in conjunction with the Keshe Foundation, for opening up the channels. This is important for all of us, and this will take step by step our work towards one direction, that the space becomes a natural place for all of us to live and be part of, the same as we live on this planet. There is a need for a vast amount of teaching. There is a need for a vast amount of understanding. There is a need for knowing that this knowledge does not belong to one race or one nation or one district, but all of us has to participate in it. For that reason, in the coming weeks we'll announce the establishment of the Research Center as where anyone who has and understand the work of the Spaceship Program in any aspects can come in and join and be part of it be it in your continent or somewhere else. Arrangements are getting made that these centers of excellence of teaching will be free available to all those who can participate and add to the knowledge. The time will take to deliver this knowledge across this planet, it depends on how, as the knowledge seekers who we have taught, you go out to teach and to what extent you are free in teaching, and you have no restriction in your thoughts and your school of teaching to the others. The Keshe Foundation structure works 
on the free basis of free knowledge, open to everyone at the same time. And this brings us into a new dimension. It has taken us thousands of years to reach this point, and from now on, we'll try to keep, to hold and treasure peace. I think we have seen enough that for generations to come, we have learned from the mistakes of the past of our forefathers. There is not one guilty man, there is not one guilty nation, it's just been the way it has been, and we have learned from it, and we mature to walk out of it. The governments will have a huge problem. Those who govern have a bigger problem to implement this, unless they underwrite everything in one go. This is going to be the biggest problem when you speak about one nation. The Cash Foundation structure in the background will launch massive amount of finances into working of this system. In a way, we supplement and we support the poorest, we'll support the ones who have the knowledge to support the structure, and we support those who are of the same ethos as us, who will lay down arms and take up peace number of governments will have a problem with this, because it means, as I've said in many times, unemployment. It is important for us to understand how we work and how we structure ourselves. This is important for us to understand, that is, we have to be able to change course. We have to be able to bring our fellow man to understand the peace dividend, which is the survival of the next generations, is more important than us earning money out of killing the others, or producing the materials which kills the others. This is one of the biggest problems. We have seen, and we will see, huge opposition to this way of work. You see a lot of problem with understanding of peace. The peace should not be sold on what will give you, the peace should be sold on is for your soul, is for yourself, does not need selling. The human race has always reacted against, if I get something, I will do something. Unfortunately, to have peace, a lot of us have to give up a lot of things. And this is the biggest problem. A lot of nations have to give up earning money out of killing, and with the name of defense, name of armies, name of military, name of whatever you would like to call it, have operated these things under national hood and nationalism. As we have no more nationalism, we shouldn't have any war. And we should be aware of those who were their own private benefit of their own pocket, or whatever, will incite these. One of the first regulations which has to come into effect for the, what I call one nation, those who incite war on this planet, should be sent to a space outside, to understand what peace means, and then allow them to come back. This is not the exile, this is the way for them to see how peaceful the universe is, and when they come back, they become the ambassadors of peace. In this process, we will see many people will abuse the process of peace. One nation, and dividend, which opens the space, food, agriculture, health, energy, will be drastically changing our behavior. As I said to the nations we are negotiating with, the power generators, which has never been seen, working on the basis of universal energy, will be a gift to humanity for peace. This is how we will operate. 
as I've said before, we trust the Chinese nation, and the Chinese scientists will see this in the first hand by themselves first. It is important for all of us to understand that the Keshe Foundation is committed to peace and we negotiate and work with any nation which is peaceful in nature and in their work. This is how we operate, this is how we have operated and this is how it should be. I hope the time will come soon, that we do not need to negotiate for peace. But, we use the knowledge and the science to create a peaceful environment. New technologies will be released. A vast amount of new technologies will be delivered to the Chinese government, that through them, will be distributed amongst the nations. These technologies has to be done this way, that peace can be guaranteed. We have no trust in the United States government in any shape or form, in receiving new technology and guaranteeing peace. We have lost the trust according to what we have seen. The same goes with number of European countries. We have no trust in those kind of behaviors. We see two nations and three, which are literally collected together in one place, as guarantee and change of the course, and simultaneously we deliver knowledge to these three nations, of Russia, India, and China, to push for peace across the continent, and across the planet. These are part of what I call the peace dividend for signing the World Peace Treaty, guaranteeing that with development and delivery of new technologies, no nation will be harmed, and one nation will work as it is to be. I have worked many years on a peace process with many governments, and I have a very clear idea where we have to sit to guarantee the peace program. One of the first nations which should be compulsorily disarmed is United States. There shall be no peace, as long as this nation carries a single arm. Disarmament of this nation, for the one nation, is important. This is not negotiation, but the technologies available that stop every single gun on this territory and beyond. No man should be able to carry a gun to kill, it does not matter from which part of this planet you come. And, we do not see any other way to handle the peace process at this moment of time, except through silencing the guns and the question of those who are behind it, which mainly comes from four or five nations. And we will do, deliver new technologies to the nations which are peaceful, to make sure that these nations do not deliver any more arms. The process is very simple. We create such a condition across the planet, that nobody wants to buy arms. That's how it will be done. The elevation of the soul of the man, is the best deterrent than fighting any war. This is the delivery of the new technologies, and most of you have seen a small, very small part of this operation. Those of you who have seen the operation for Alzheimer's, those of you who have seen operation for cancer, which is psychosomatic, you should have understood by now, that the technology is there to go beyond this level. Now we deliver that technology. The beauty of it is, that the Keshe Foundation members, have the knowledge and the technology to deliver it across this planet is not going to be in one place at one time. Today, we have to learn one thing, it's the first time, we as one race, have decided to be one nation. I've said many times, I have never seen 
a bird which flies from Siberia to North Africa, carrying a passport dangling behind his tail. And I have never seen a lion going from one country to another, giving a passport to cross the border. How man has humiliated himself, that has every man to have a passport to cross. Position of a passport in the hand of the man, is a humiliation of a race, even lower than the animals. The abolishment of the passport has to become, as we become one nation, we have nothing to pass, and we have no ports to get on, to go out. I wonder, when we cross the planet, the people of the universe will ask us, do you have an earth passport? You cannot come in. One of the main, and most important points, with the one nation system, has to be the abolishment of the passport. A man should be free, and with the delivery of the new technology, that you can take place, and work anywhere on this planet, guarantees this position. Passport was needed, when we were different nation. One nation, we do not need passport. The guarantee of the human rights, has to stay as part of the cornerstones of the one nation. It's the duty of human race, to guarantee the support of the race. And the right to live free, unconditionally across this planet, wherever man chooses. We have to realize and learn from the mistakes of the past. We robbed Africa to the bone, to build the streets and roads and lampposts, on the streets of Europe, and what we call, the advanced nations. The advancement of the nation has come on the back of robbing those who we kept down for to abuse. These processes with delivery of new technology will become obsolete. It is part of the One Nation program to make sure the man in the jungles of Africa leaves the same comfort, peace of mind, and the pleasure of life, as the man, on the apartments of New York, and the rest of the world. If one not be, one will reach to get, and becomes a cause of conflict. It has to be part of the work of the, all the districts of this planet, as there are no more nations, to make sure everything is just and correct and given the right way, that no man looks in the pocket of another part, that they have this, and I don't. This is how we run the Keshe Foundation. We open our patents equally to all the nations on this planet. So, it has to be the same. When the knowledge gained, when the knowledge understood, has to become the benefit for all mankind at the same time. Those who endeavor to benefit by it, and do things with it, that's their right. But the abolishment of what we call, intellectual right, has to be the God-given right. Because of my grand and great-grandfathers, or your great-grandfathers in different part of the world, our ancestors, none of us would have existed. So, the intellect goes back, where it came, to the totality of human race. These are essential cornerstones of freedom and peace. This is why, we have left everything to everyone to make. This is the way we live, the same we have done, and this is the way we will carry on doing. Freedom of information, and freedom of understanding, freedom of teaching, and freedom to be free, to do all at the same time. The reason for this is, the knowledge man has, and uses now, and they think they are so advanced, in the opening of the space, becomes so ridiculous, with the knowledge which comes from outside this space, that we laugh, what are we holding back for, what are we patterning? I have never seen a pattern anywhere in the universe, 
it's a spit of greedy of those who wanted to become more greedy and do and kill for it. You've seen that with the life of the Foundation. Killing for knowledge, to benefit by it, through financial means, has been the patterns of government and the kings, and those have been brought to justice. No man can call himself a king or a president, and no man can be any different than the other. And those who have done, shall be brought to justice, if they've done wrong. It is important that we share all our knowledge equally across, as we bring more, what I call, maybe to the human race, exotic knowledge from outside the boundary of this planet. Any knowledge brought in, or delivered by those of the universal community to human race, has to become automatically accessible and understood by all the human race, according to their interest. Which means, privilege to travel in different positions, to learn more, as we have given you the spaceship the technology freely to do that, does not mean that you bring and capture, or try to hold the technology to benefit one nation or one group alone. This is one of the cornerstones of work of the Foundation. Any technology, any new knowledge gained in the space, has to become the total assets of the nation simultaneously. One of the biggest problems for human race, has been to trust another race. This has to be accepted, that all races in the universe are the same, and they come through the same operation of the work of the same plasmas. So, in the coming time, when man goes into space, he has to carry the ethos of peace, and one nation would across one race, one nation, one planet, to one universe. In the coming time, with the support of some nations, the opening for interaction with the Universal Community will be established. This is important, that the whole interaction and opening of the space does not become a game show for a lot of other people. In developing the Plasma technology, you create fields and dimensions that man has never seen before or has seen and not understood. With the creation of new dimension, of new mixtures of the plasmas, which will be open to the man, man will see a new horizon, new sciences and new technologies, which will become, and uh, could become the cause of more conflicts. And this has to stop from the beginning. The new technologies and sciences which come, and will be delivered in coming weeks and months, through the Keshe Foundation, and then opening of the space, has to be agreed, and as we have done as one nation, to become tool of peace for the whole of humanity. There are knowledges beyond understanding of the man at this point of time in the universe, that once the man sees them, will create two ways, with pleasure to accept, or the fear to create, to control. This cannot be allowed. In the coming time, as the space technology, spaceship program opens up, and we'll see, is that, the human race, will trust, his own structure, his own physical being, his soul, to be given, to be trusted, to other beings, which with it, increases the intellect of the man in interaction. These kind of knowledge, at this moment of time, is not seen or understood by human race. This is one of the advantages of opening the space, through the spaceship program. This means, we bring a mixture of the science of man, 
and science of the space together. And this can create all sorts of joys and all sorts of expectation. This is as part of one nation dividend, which will come with the space technology, with the spaceship program, has to be understood to be used for the benefit of mankind as totality. By opening the one nation and in delivering more knowledge into the hand of the scientists, the scientists would deliver, deliver and develop knowledge and technologies in conjunction with those beyond the boundaries of this planet that will change the totality of the lifestyle on this planet. In so many ways, buildings and the structures we know as of today will not exist. Building the way we do, constructing the way we do, transportation that we use, the line of communication that we have is so obsolete, is so in a way not backward, but for us to be very advanced, in a way is historical to the man of the space, used billions of years ago, that in that evolution, many of the human race will be baffled and might resist the change. This cannot be. We have to educate across this planet all races, that is their choice to join and be part of the free space knowledge. In the space, there are no bricks, and in the space, there are no metal gates. In the space, we don't have computers, and in the space, we do not have the visuality of the television. In the space, we create dimensions of physicality by the interaction of the totality of the fields and through our own understanding and control of our own fields. Which means, what the man has built escape into one dimension or after one space will become irrelevant. This is part of the one nation progress. The aircraft industry of today will be in a way, a museum part in the coming months. As I said before, would you like to spend 12 hours on a flight, or would you like to be on the way for 12 minutes? These space technologies and advancements in the space development will come purely out of the nation of China. Initial investments and development and delivery of knowledge to guarantee world peace, has to come towards the strongest nation present, which is peaceful. These technologies will be delivered in a way that guarantees peace on this planet, and guarantees the advancement of the knowledge. As I said, we have no trust in the United States government to use the technology for peaceful application where we have 100% trust in the Chinese government to see the development and delivery of new transportation for a space on the Earth level and across this planet. We will deliver these on one basis, and that is, we have to understand further the interaction of the fields. We have to understand how the fields have to change, have to be delivered in one way or another, to lead to the creation of physicality, that the totality gives us, and brings us peace. As I've said before, those nations who are striving to buy 747s and Airbus 380, please hold on to your wallet. The new space crafts, the new crafts to travel across this planet, will cost a few thousand dollars. And, it will be available 
to totality at the same time. But, it has to be understood, for those of you, who have matured in the world of space and science, that the technology at this level, needs a total understanding by all the nations. We have looked at every aspects of teaching the new technology to one nation, one planet, one race. One of the main problems which will be solved through this technology as one nation is feeding of the humanity. In the coming time, we deliver technologies directly through the Chinese government that no man, no child will sleep hungry. Does not matter where on this planet you live. This is the only way which we can bring progress in totality, at the same time through it, deliver the knowledge which brings man peace. At the same time, we will deliver through the same structure, systems that guarantees the health of every being on this planet. Small diseases like diabetic, blood pressure, heart attack, brain hemorrhage, recovery from them, if there is, will become a child's play with what will be delivered. It is part of what I call peace dividend. This is part of what we call the pleasures of being able to share the knowledge, and it has to be agreed, and it has to be done the way we see, as the ways of the past has brought nothing but misery and calamity for man. I have made it very clear what is going to come, and what is going to be delivered. I don't see any other way. This is, as I said, we have brought the knowledge, we dictate the terms and conditions, and us dictating the term and condition is for the benefit of the humanity, that we all receive every benefit from every angle and every way from this new technology. The word which has bothered me for very many years, is a third world nation, and what they call themselves, the first nations. Those who call themselves the first nation, have stolen so much from the third world nation, that in fact, from moral point of view, the most advanced nations are the bottom of the rank, when it comes to be. Maybe the other third world nation and beyond, in understanding and social structure, and what I call morality. So in this way, we exchange one for the other, and we bring that there is no first, second or third nation, we all become one nation. It is our responsibility, to carry this through. It is us who have the knowledge. Many of you who have been around the Keshe Foundation for so many times, so many years, you suddenly find yourself as celebrities of knowledge. Those who understood and can teach, and it's your responsibility to do so be the housewife, be the doctor, be the engineer. In the coming weeks, we will release, as I said, so many new technologies and knowledges that has been, and is, part of the knowledge of the Universal Community. With this way, we achieve two things. First of all, gradually we introduce man to the knowledge which is beyond this planet, and never been open to, and secondly, we allow for the man to test himself, in how much he can understand the new understanding of the technologies. As I've said, apartments, stacking up 20-30 million people in one place, because there is a job, there is a water, there is a light, as irrelevant. In the coming time, the cities we have chosen will become empty places. In a way, what they call prime states will not exist. By being able to produce materials, 
and being able to travel and transmute in different positions. Cities, the way we see, we have seen become things of the past. The human race will spread across this planet and beyond. There is a point that we have no control over, and in that process we have to make facilities that in that position we are there to make the difference, like natural disasters. In these positions, again the new technology can help. We cannot stop these process of natural processes even in the space. But we can understand how to overcome and how to support instantaneously, and not to wait. One of the biggest problems at this moment of time for human race is the contamination in different shapes and forms. With this new technology, we should be able to extract all, and deliver all. From Keshe Foundation Arizona, and Keshe Foundation China, we will deliver new systems that you can produce whatever you need at the point of need with the full technology. Cash Foundation Arizona has been spearheading this and nobody saw it. And many times when I see John showing things, I say, John, why don't you see where you're going? In this way, we deliver systems very basic systems, that you can produce whatever you need at any point on this planet. Be it food, be it water, be it material, be it energy. The technology has been on the table, and many people have overlooked it. Now, we bring it out as part of the process. But, we bring a new version of it, in a deeper way, that from the same system, you can produce from gold, to water, to any other material you need, and this system should not cost more than, or less than 100, 150 dollars. In a way, we make you independent, from every need. In a way, this process will change, everything that the man has been fearing of, even shelter. In so many ways, is the completion of what we promised as a Oasis system. Initially, it will be delivered through the Chinese organization of the Keshe Foundation, and through Arizona. We need to understand the totality. In so many ways, we have to understand the totality. And in so many ways, we have no choice. Part of the new development will come out of what we call the space plasma field. Part of the new understanding will come as field plasma rays, part of this will come from the knowledge of the interaction of the gravitational magnetic field themselves. This is part of the technology which has never been understood, but we have explained in so many ways about it. If you understand that every field has a gravitational and a magnetical it should have been understood by now, that these fields are not separable from each other. And in the motion of a field, from one position to another, where there is a dynamic flow, and a counterbalance flow, between the magnetical, and the gravitation of the field of the ray, itself, is a source of life, is a source of energy, and it's a source for existence. Then, as I said, one thing which has never been understood, and this is part of what I explained today now, that 
those of you who understood part of this, now might see the light, or understand, be enlightened by it. We always explained, a plasma has a gravitational and magnetical. One thing that you never considered, if there is such a thing, there has to be a flow of the energy and gravitational magnetic field of strength between the gravitational and the magnetical. And man has never tapped into this energy, because he never understood, he never could imagine. But in fact, if you look, everyday life on this planet works, operates through this operation of the field. Look at the rains, look at the clouds, look at the life on this planet. The interaction of the gravitational fields of this planet, what is magnetical, creates such a vast energy that forces the rotation of this planet. The interaction between the gravitational and magnetic field of this planet is the cause of the motion of the clouds and the creation of conditions on this planet. A man has only learned a little bit, maybe to use the winds, and maybe to use a little bit of this and that. The energy hidden within the interaction of gravitational and magnetic field of a single entity, is equal to the energy which is available in the universe. And man has never understood this potential. In so many ways, as man never understood the field forces of the gravity, he always considered one thing or the other as a field. Now, the new opening and the science will change everything, as I said, by delivery of new, new science, is the interaction within the field itself, gravitational and magnetical. One does not exist without the other, and at the same time, the two exist to support each other to exist. And man has never tapped into this line of energy, as up to this point, has never considered such a flaw. The new technology, which we deliver, will tap into the field itself, the gravitational and magnetical field itself. Good morning. It has to be understood, that, the field flow, between the gravitational and magnetical, is one of the most controllable hidden energies in any process in the universe. A man has never ever considered such an energy. When you create gravity, and when you create magnetical field from the same entity, they have always an interaction, an interface. One is stronger, and one is weaker, and the flow from the stronger to the weaker, creates field forces, which creates the rotation of the planet, which creates the winds, which creates the condition and the temperature on this planet. And it's time to understand, that one can tap into this energy, and if one understands, then it dictates the rotation of the entity, which gives it the balance in its motion, and then one does not need no motors, and no nuclear reactors to create energy and motion. The field force balance, between the two, has to be understood from now on, and need to be tapped onto, then you can choose which part of these field forces, 
you decide to interact with. And that will give you whatever you need from that point. Let me explain to you something very simple. An onion is ground based, not much of the magnetical, but more of gravitational. An apple is more of the more of magnetical and less of gravitational and only few meters changes one field force to another creation of different entity but in fact they're all both made of interaction of fields and nothing else the development of the field interaction systems which are gravitational magnetical interface systems we become part of the cornerstones of the development of energy and motion and materials in the upcoming time when the man understands creation of materials creation of gases, creation of fields, creation of motion, creation of creating new positions, and speed of motion. Now, even the rays, we become part of the game, and one can understand. The Maghreb field strength, within the Maghreb itself, becomes important. And this makes development of the system so easy, that one does not need to look anywhere in the universe. One will understand that can use their own reactors, as you have, to create such a condition. The technology and the knowledge of interface between the gravitational and magnetical will create the new opportunities and sciences that man will understand in totality. Then the space becomes child play, where you can play within the structure of the field directly inside. This is part of new understanding and the teaching. In so many ways, if you look at it, we are talking about this, but if you look at it and understand it, there is two of them running at the same time. And in this point and this point, there is a potential field strength difference. And if you tap at that point, the vast amount of energy which is available, is beyond imagination of the man. And no one up to now has ever considered the field flow of the entity within the entity. Be it an atom, be it a plasma, a neutron, or whatever else you want to call it. Be it the plasmatic field of the Earth, which is gravitational and magnetical. So, if one learns then one can go from the magnetical of the Earth into gravitational, or at a point choose and use the different strength in fields to create vast amount of energies that can be used by man. As I've said, there is a lot to teach, and man has a long way to go. And as I said, these are part of the peace dividend. I wish us peace, and the signing of peace treaty to make one nation of the planet, now we can teach more of the same. Some of you, or mankind, should have understood that the light on this planet, the elusive light on this planet, the, what we see as trans light on this planet, comes from this interaction.
which means the Earth lights itself through interaction of its own gravitational and magnetic field. The way that the lights from the Earth and the light from the Sun leads to a higher order, as we call it the daylight and the night, the same thing, part of the elusive light of the universe comes from the interaction of its own gravitational magnetic field forces. And now, man can understand and use these field forces to his advantage, and it takes no time to develop these kind of technologies. This is the way the birds fly. On the footpath of the field floor, which always stays constant, irrespective of many other factors. It does not matter how old the bird is, it flies directly to the point on the tree, from one continent to another. These interactive field forces are very weak, but extremely powerful. And one does not need to do much to be able to tap in one or the other. But, the collection interaction of the two, creates totally a new system that man can benefit by beyond his imagination. What else can I teach you? If you are not aware of your own operation of your own planet for millions of years, that you can use the fields, you should have used the fields of gravity and magnetical to create everything that you want. There is a lot to learn. And there is a lot to teach. But we have to be careful, that these teaching does not become to harm the others, or others can use to harm the others. Any questions? <laughs>